With Bitcoin in the 59K region, people are starting to feel a little bit better, a little less concerned. But unfortunately, on Thursday morning, people woke up to MicroStrategy, right? Michael Saylor's company being down over 90% per share. What happened? Welcome back, everyone. Let's dive into this. Um, unfortunately, it seems that there are a, a number of Bitcoiners or people in the crypto space uh, that have never really delved into uh, into equities and never really took the time to to understand them. And that's perfectly fine, right? Like we're not going to understand everything. I don't understand everything, um, but I. Fortunately for me, I, I was a stock, an equity investor for a pretty long time, and I took the time to understand as much as as much as I wanted uh, about equities. And one of the things that I really wanted to understand was stock splits and stock split reversals. Okay, so to make it simple, right? Uh, essentially, let's imagine that MicroStrategy had one. 100 shares. Okay, look, we're going to make the numbers really small. Obviously, that number is not true. Okay, let's say they had 100 shares. And then they decided, right, the board, the board of directors and the shareholders voted on whether or not there should be a stock split. Now, when the stock splits, okay, this is the key. The market cap, right, the market capitalization of the company doesn't change. Okay. Like that's not what's happening here. All that's happening is the company is slicing the pie into smaller pieces. So going back to the original example, let's say MicroStrategy had a hundred shares and they did a stock split. Now let's say they did the stock split that MicroStrategy, right? That MicroStrategy actually did the 10 for one. So how many shares would MicroStrategy have now? Well, it's pretty simple. It's 100 times 10, which is 1,000, right? Now, there would be 1,000 shares, but those 1,000 shares don't take on the original price, right? The original unit price of the original stock. That number is now essentially divided by 10. So, for example, in the market right now, MicroStrategy stock was worth over $1,000. After the 10 for 1 stock split happened, each share is worth approximately $100. Okay, so nothing actually changed. So for the people in the crypto space that think that MicroStrategy just tanked and fell off a cliff, that, that's not what happened at all, okay? All that is right there. And it's interesting because in a space this morning, I, I believe it was um, Wicked, the... Uh, the uh, Apple PFP, uh, Bitcoiner anyways, uh, who does all these amazing graphs and charts. I, I think he is the one that, uh, that explained this. This is a great illustration of the Oracle problem, right? So let's say that you held a whole bunch of tokens or something like that, you know, based on an Oracle price, right? Well, all of a sudden, if the Oracle is not up to date, and it goes to, and, and now your tokens are locked in some type of a contract in order to be executed based on some type of price movement. Well, technically you would have been maybe liquidated, right? Because it would have seen a drop of over 90% because the data is not up to date because you're trusting the Oracle and all of a sudden you would get wrecked. So yeah, uh, sorry guys, Oracle token uh, Oracle token buyers and shillers in disbelief. This is this is right. This is a great example of the Oracle issue. Uh, but look, so micro micro strategy shares did not drop. Now now this is not an endorsement for purchasing uh, micro strategy shares or anything like that. Um, I'm gonna link up to an article in the show notes because again this is also not a clip trying to dismantle micro strategy. I was just trying to. Um, alleviate some people's concerns about seeing this in the market, because of course it does cause confusion when you don't understand something about equities and you say, hey, wait a second, Bitcoin's about to cross 60K and yet MicroStrategy, which essentially 90% of its net worth is Bitcoin, because nobody actually uses their software. I know, don't hate me. Nobody uses it. Anyways, 90% um, of their value is Bitcoin. Well, it would seem really crazy that all of a sudden the stock just dropped over 90% overnight. It didn't drop 90% overnight. 
all they did was split their shares. And the last piece that I want to say is this. Um, I think this is the third time throughout history that uh, MicroStrategy has has uh, done a share split. Uh, back in the 2000s during the dot-com uh, burst, right, the, the bubble burst, um, they did a reverse split. So just anecdotally, quite often um, when you see a company do a reverse split of the shares, that's a red flag. Now, I know you'd probably be wondering, well, wait a second, Phil, wouldn't the split shares be a red flag? Not necessarily. In some cases, uh, some companies have to split their shares in order to keep their membership with an exchange, um, with, with an, with an index, right. Or, or with an exchange. So like, let's say, uh, sorry, with, with the index. So let's say, um, they, they'd want to be part of the standard and Poor's or the Russell 4,000 or whatever it is. Well, there's certain requirements, uh, to be a part of those indexes. Um, but yeah, that, that would be the reason now the reverse, why the reverse split is a bad or a red flag in my book, um, is that usually it indicates them having to shore up the price in order to maintain their membership, right? So it's kind of the opposite in the, in, in the previous situation I just gave, they, they aren't being, they, they aren't being kicked out of the index because of um, because of poor share performance, the, it's the opposite, right? It's because they're doing so well, they, they can, they can have so much more liquidity. It's like, Hey, you know what? You got to split the shares to stay in here because we're trying to keep everything at a, around a certain level so that that way there's a certain amount of trading and volume because essentially the higher the price of something goes, believe it or not, the lower the volume is. And a great example of that is Berkshire Hathaway. Berkshire Hathaway doesn't trade more than 200 shares a day, maybe. <laughs> okay. So that it gives you an idea. So Going back to this thing about the reverse split, when you see a reverse split, usually that means the company um, is not doing very well, uh, or or they've over diluted their shares too much. Uh, we saw examples of that with companies like Lucent Technologies. Okay, where at one point they had almost like over three billion shares, and, and keep in mind, guys, this was like 15 years ago, 20 years ago. It's not today. Uh, so back then it was like, what? That that's insane. Um, and yeah, they ended up doing a reverse split to shore up their price. Uh, so it look in the end, it's, it, it's smoke and mirrors. Okay. It is smoke and mirrors, but it's just good to actually understand the landscape. Anyways, guys, no panic. I just wanted to talk about that for today. That's the clip and I will catch you guys next week.